On the one-year anniversary of the first of two Boeing crashes, families of those killed appeared before Congress. They're demanding accountability from Boeing CEO Dennis Muhlenberg. I want you to know that we carry those memories with us every day. And every day that drives us to improve the safety of our airplanes and our industry. But in a fiery Senate hearing, Muhlenberg was given little time to offer condolences. And for the first time, he admitted publicly that Boeing botched the design of a top-selling plane. Those pilots never had a chance. These loved ones never had a chance. They were in flying coffins as a result of Boeing deciding that it was going to conceal MCAS from the pilots. Muhlenberg acknowledged that its safety assessments fell short and that protocols need to change. We, we have not blamed the pilots, and I know that's been reported, but that is not our company position, uh, and it never will be. We are responsible for our airplanes. Investigators have linked both the Lion Air flight, which went down in the Java Sea a year ago, and the Ethiopian Airlines crash in March to a flawed stabilisation system that repeatedly pushed the plane's noses down, overwhelming the pilots. It's understood that Boeing's chief pilot knew the system was faulty, but the Federal Aviation Authority didn't. I lied to the regulators unknowingly. Evidence that lawmakers used to accuse the regulatory body and Boeing of being in a cosy relationship. Well, I was made aware of that uh, message earlier this year. It was discovered as part of a, uh, a document uh, gathering process in response to a government investigation. So it was after the crashes. You were made aware of it this year. Uh, sir, as I recall, I believe it was uh, prior to the second crash prior earlier second this year. Crash. Was it your decision to wait months before disclosing this to the FAA? A worldwide grounding of the Boeing 737 MAX plane is in its eight month, with flights continuing to be cancelled into 2020. And as lawmakers accuse the plane manufacturer of valuing profits over human life, Boeing is now paying the price. Sally Ihan, TRT World, Washington.